<laughs> that's it. That's the episode. That's the episode. All right. My husband only just started washing his butt with soap. Stop it. I'm, <laughs> I'm signing out of this. Um, have a good day, y'all. This has been Two Queens, One Blunt. And I gotta go. The fuck? Girl. Like I said, this is true off of my chest, so this is not like a am I the asshole. This is more so just like a getting it out there, letting it be known. So we're not going to um, give advice in this situation because this is not an advice. But we will be judging. We're definitely judging. All right. Oh, my God. With, like, the panic emoji and then the throw up emoji. The horror. I literally just found this out. He apparently started using soap three to four years ago, but that means for like the first six to seven years of us dating, he didn't. He just ran water in his butt crack. Keep that. I suffered from reoccurring vaginal infections for years and wondered what I was doing wrong. I have to remind him to wash his hands after he changes the baby and other stuff. It all connects now and I'm mortified. We have an infant son, and I will be the one teaching him hygiene. But Jesus, I just need to tell someone. I feel sick, vomit emoji. So grossed out right now. Is this normal? Do other people's husbands do this? Is this just a standard guy behavior thing? Bitch, gross. (laughs) Did it really say bitch gross? I'm going to say that that's supposed to be bitch. Blah. That's how you spell black? Black. Like, bleh. Bleh. Like, yeah. Black. No, like, bleh. Bitch, gross. That's what I'm keeping on there. <laughs> gotcha. uh, there is an edit, but we will get into the edit after we express our feelings off of the initial post. So, first off, I want to say, that is a straight man thing. Let me take thing. my head now oh. that I'm not reading. Oh, yeah, Sorry. Yeah, yeah. No, you're fine. That's like a straight man thing, because... <coughs> the The... The Alphabet Mafia, we don't do that. We we clean ourselves. Unless you nasty. But he just may be nasty, because that's nasty as fuck. Can we call... I He's at know. work. Aw, oh, damn. I was going to say, I want to know if this is a straight man thing. No, because I definitely had, had conversations with straight men, and some of them say, like, yeah. And I'm like, you know who does wash his ass, though? Who? Oh. Well, you know who's... Never mind. (laughs) And and I want you to know I'm going to bleep out his name. Just so we know. Good. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) The panic in my body was like, oh my God. I had a feeling. I had a feeling that that was the case. I literally meant to send that to you the other day. Yeah, no. I had a feeling that was the case. So, you know. But anyway. um, Here, take that. I have heard a lot of stories about people who have been with guys, straight guys that don't wash their asshole with soap and water because they feel like that is gay. I would honestly divorce my husband. I would absolutely divorce my husband personally. I just want to know though. Okay. How did you not know? Girl, now, you did not smell it when you were like Well, like, hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. It then brings me to wonder, is she doing his laundry? Or is he doing his laundry? He's because doing his laundry. if she's doing the laundry and she hasn't noticed any streaks, maybe he's using baby wipes Stop. or like some type of a, a wipe. Stop. Now, no, You're this is not giving him. Credit. Right, right. You know, I'm playing both sides of the fence right now. This is not giving this the okie doke, bitch. I wash my ass with soap and water and I feel like everybody should wash their ass with soap and water. <laughs> I have a specific. Um, a loofah that I use just for my asshole. It does not touch any other part of my body, just the asshole. She gets changed out every once in a while. It's coming up on that time. So it's like, you know. Sometimes you got to use a duche to make sure you're real clean. Literally. And then on top of that, we have a removable shower head. Shout out to Dominique, my best friend from Vegas. My number one best friend of my life. I've been friends with her longer than anybody that I know. 
and she came to visit and she hated the standard shower head that I had. So she literally bought a shower head. She while said, I was I'm going to upgrade you for the convenience of me. You can keep it. And then Mikey installed it. <laughs> Shout out. Okay. So with all that being said, um, this is fucking gross. Um, What's the update? I don't know if I want to do the update first or the comment first. So let's do the comment first. The comment says, oh, my God, my husband and I were having this conversation this morning. He watched a video where a medical professional was talking about how men are asked to undress and sit down directly on paper in a doctor's office. Apparently, in this person's experience, six out of ten men leave poop on the paper when they stand back up. I would die of embarrassment. Immediately would have died. Girl. That's nasty. That, it's like, it it did no shade. This is why I don't let men in my bed. Because, and I'm not trying to shade the tops of the world. But tops are like the straight men in the gay community. Tops are the straight men in the gay community. And I'm not saying they don't wash their ass, because they do. And not like straight in like a sexuality way, just like paralleled to like... Yes, we would parallel them to bottoms because they are the ones doing the fucking. So they're not... And I'm not saying they're not necessarily caring about how clean their asshole is because a lot of tops like getting their ass ate. More recent, though. So, point is, this is why I don't let men in my bed. Because, bitch, if a man takes off his clothes to do me down boots and we chilling in the bed, smoking and having a good time afterwards or beforehand or whatever... And then he gets up and there's still a part of him on the bed. Oh, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ham. I'm out. And I will be on my scissor shit. Kill Bill. (laughs) Part one and two. Part one and fucking two. All right. The edit does say, oh, my God, his parents never taught him to wash his butt. I'm sorry, there's more in the edit. I, I, I just can't move past Parents, that. <laughs> do your fucking job, please. Teach your children hygiene. What? I, how did his mom She not probably teach? nasty, too. They all nasty. Like, they are all nasty. <laughs> that is a family of nasty-ass bitches. And I'm so sorry, I can't. I'm so upset right now. <laughs> I'm gaggy honored, bitch. Okay. So it says, um, his parents never taught him to wash his butt. We talked more, and he told his parents, wait, he told me his parents just told him to get in the shower and shampoo his hair and rub soap on his body with a sponge. He thought this was normal until a few years ago. This man was failed. I will not let this happen to our son. My God. Divorce. I, <laughs> divorce. But then it makes you wonder, do you divorce him? Because he never knew. Divorce. But then it also makes you wonder, you a grown ass man and how did you never know that? Also, the fact that you've gotten so many infections because that nigga was being nasty. Like, <sighs> that, I didn't even think about that aspect of hell it. Hell no. Divorced. Sorry. Respectfully. We could be cool. Wash your ass. Girl. Like, take a power washer to him at this point. Take him outside and power wash him. No shade. One of the comments on here says, oh my God, are you fucking serious? I'm going to throw up LMAO. Looks like I have a new thing to discreetly bring up to people when I date them in the future. I feel like that's a question that women should be asking men on the first date. (laughs) Do you wash your asshole with soap and water? People are like, hey, my name's Jessica, um, princess. You're, how are you? I'm good, oh my I'm gosh. Good. Um, I'm Tom. Um, favorite color? Blue. Okay, do you wash your asshole with soap? <laughs> Literally, that should be the second fucking question. It's a name, favorite color. Do you wash your asshole? And if the answer is. Uh, a hesitation. Any hesitation, anything? run immediately because well, they could be like, no. Even if because I'm not gonna lie, if somebody asked me that, 
I would have hesitation because it would throw me off that you just asked me if I washed my ass. Okay, so I would be like, what? But the hesitation would be like, uh, like okay, true. rather than being like. Uh, <laughs> Right, you can tell when a bitch is about to make some shit up or when a bitch is just gagged that you just asked some stupid shit. Yeah, so... But is that stupid shit? No. I'm officially putting that as a good question that should be asked on every first date. That's... We should do an episode about that. On the questions you should ask on the first date? Questions you should ask on the first date. We're definitely going to put that in our topic list and that will be... One of the questions in that bitch. I'm so gagged. But yeah, no, take it. Take our advice. Girl. I just want to. We're, we're going to get off of this one. 